going to show you how to install the Riptide transport rack. There's also a diagram found in the manual. First thing you want to do is get the locking mechanism set at the right height. Now you want to slide this part on here until it sets right on here. Now we can tighten those bolts. We know this is the right place. You can also test it by locking it in place. Okay, you want to pull this handle up and lock it in place. And you can see the front is locked on here. I'm going to go ahead and tighten the bolts on the bottom. And now we're going to pull this plate up on the bottom. We're going to tighten those bolts. Now I'm using an 18 millimeter wrench here. Now we want to unlock it by pushing on this tab and we'll push this handle back and unlock it. I'm using a T-Dula T-bar mount here so I can mount two carts to my truck at the same time. This T-bar mount is in the receiver. It has two hitch receivers here. We're going to take this piece here and slide it in. Okay, you want to slide the pin in. Now I'm going to secure this part. You're going to take these U-bolts and slide them through. You go ahead and put the four nuts on. Okay, now we're going to pull this part up. Since my truck is pretty low to the ground, I'm going to pull it up to the highest point. You can adjust it according to your truck. You can lower it or raise it. I'm using a 5-8 socket. I'm going to tighten it up. And I connected the anti-wobble feature to the receiver so you can get an idea what it looks like. And if you notice after mounting the riptide that is too low in your truck, you can also get this part here. This will extend the receiver up higher. So I'm going to install this part in my truck because it's a little bit low on my Nissan. And so by adding this, I raised up the Riptide cart by 4 inches. I'm going to have a lot more clearance now in some of the driveways that I service. Okay, if you're mounting the Riptide to the center of your truck, you can move the license plate. It comes with this lighted license plate holder. You just have to wire it in. And you would simply attach it to either side of the transport rack. Then you're going to push the cart all the way up and in. Okay, then you would just simply push this lever all the way up. And that locks the cart into place. And to release the cart, you simply pull forward. That will release that part right there. Once you have that unlocked, you simply push this out and then pull down, and the cart will slide right off. And a transport rack is designed for a large padlock, so you can lock the cart and the cleaner in place. That's the installation of the transport rack for the Riptide large service cart.